So you're telling me there's a chance? Yeah, that was a test alert. I'm, I'm trying a different stream setup to see if I can exclude background music from my streams now. And I'll have the stream break because OBS updated and now the settings are a bit easier. Okay. Yo, it works. Now, that's wild. Now there should be no more background audio and VODs. So for any part where there is music, people can just listen to whatever they want. And I finally fixed TTS. I think it was an issue with, um, what you call it? With OBS, because I was using TTS as a desktop source. So that way the audio is combined with whatever was playing on the, my computer. But I made the alerts as a separate sound source, and now it should work. And now I can visibly tell when it's working. And it's at a decent volume. Okay, I'm good. Everything should be fine. <laughs> I'm also streaming at 60 frames per second to see, like, how... Because I couldn't exclude the audio from VODs before because it affects, like, um... How do you say? Your ear encoder? Like, it puts a lot more strain on your encoder. So now that OBS is updated, it's a bit simpler. So hopefully my computer can actually handle it. That is very good. Very pog. What? There's a chat warning function in ModView? What is that? <laughs> what is that? Weird. Also, I'm going to be eating my lunch on camera. I'm going to do an impromptu mukbang. Dang, like 30 minutes ago? <laughs> it said that everybody's viewer count was like tanking. It's so, like even if people had thousands of viewers, it said they only had like less than three. Imagine. If I would have started stream like 10 minutes sooner, I could have had the same viewer count as all the big boys. Face cam on in 30 seconds. I'm gonna make the music louder for me. We music is so good. Three, two, one. Yo. Today, I got Safeway fried chicken earlier. So I had to get their shitty takeout. And I got the plate that has the fried rice. This is sesame chicken. It's bad. But sometimes I crave it. I don't know. The sauce is really good, but the chicken ain't it. So today, plain and simple. Doing my nails, my polish is starting to chip off. I usually do my nails on Fridays anyway. And then, gaming. I'm going to play through the demo of Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Rescue Team DX. And then maybe, if everyone behaves, we'll do Mario Kart with viewers. Only if you guys behave, though. I wanted to start stream at 11, but one of my buses was 20 minutes late. It was really sad.
I think there should be a petition for any time a bus is late, they should let you ride free. You know, because if you're taking the bus to get to work and you're late to work, uh oh, you're fired now. And it's the bus's fault. Well, then er earlier, I was finalizing things for tomorrow's stream. Valentine's Day stream start tomorrow. So make sure if you haven't already, fill out this year's Valentine's Day quiz. We did it last year. I'm doing it again this year. Make sure you fill it out. Click the link. Fill it out today. Because tomorrow, no one arcs because this is sub only. Um, I'm going to be doing something with candy hearts. And then making valentines for people. Like chat. I'm still thinking about how I want to do the valentines. Because you know how most valentines, they're just puns? I'm out, I might like cut out paper hearts. And then make puns off of viewers' names. I think that would make sense. But I'm still like, cause I don't have construction paper. That's like the one art thing I don't have cause construction paper is for little babies. So I'm like, if I do card, cause I was either gonna do cards tomorrow or Monday. But I was like, I might as well do it Saturday, because usually we have more people who watch Saturday. Because the plan is to edit every single Valentine's Day stream into a YouTube video. So in order for there to be enough Valentine's for like a YouTube video, I would probably need like 10, 10 people. Oh, big bite. <laughs> Enough munching, let's get some nails done. So last, or two weeks ago, I did the Everything Topper, which has like this holographic flake glitter. And my nails are kind of long. This is personally my favorite length. They are, like the little white part is almost two millimeters. I think they look cute. I got little talons. But... If I had a GF, I would have to trim them, which I don't right now, so, you know, I can afford to grow up my nails. Um, another strat is just wear gloves. It doesn't hurt as much. You just have to make sure that, like, you're not allergic to latex. <laughs> I haven't had any issues with that, but I can only imagine. Okay, right now I'm taking off the polish. That's what I think my favorite part about not working is obviously not working. But then also like being able to grow my nails because that's what I hated about working in food. Like obviously people would still grow out their nails and get acrylics, but you just can't wash your hands as good when you have longer nails. And like half the time, whenever you have longer nails, like they bust through the gloves. And that's gross. Oh, when I got the fried chicken earlier today, I got to eat all the fried skin. It was so good. Because I bought the chicken because I want to try and make like homemade chicken noodle soup next week. Or on Sunday. That way I can let it cook, let them cook when I'm at the play. I do want to get a crock pot at some point, because I, I only still have just regular pots and pans. And, like, you can leave a pot on the stove for hours and hours, 
but it's more likely to be a fire hazard and I don't think burning the house down would be a sleigh. <laughs> so I might get a, when I have money, oh. I clipped my skin. It's fine, I thought I had cut. That's another reason why I think it's good that I try to pay my nails every other week. Is because I buy my nails less. Because I had a really bad habit. Of biting my nails. You know when your nails are just gone, you start like nibbling on the skin? I did that too. Because when you have nails, everybody's gonna want to look at it, or people will look at it more. So then if they see like your nibbled up fingertips, they're gonna know you have anxiety, and I don't want to leak. Nobody has to know. Dude, this takes forever. No me gusta. Pero... <laughs> also, it's stinky. And I decided to wear a long sleeve today so I don't have to bless you guys with my armpits. <laughs> I know it's so only, but... Hi, Kim! Welcome in! Can we get some yo's? Hello! Plan is simple. Should I paint my nose pink for Valentine's or black because I'm single? And ready to mingle? Just kidding, I'm not. Fuck a fan is not happening. Pink? Okay. I was gonna do pink anyway. I was gonna like pick three different colors and do a poll and just do pink anyway. But then I was like, that's kind of mean and like undemocratic, right? Wait, I gotta check my my mic for some reason i had this issue like two years ago okay it's good for some reason oh omega lol god damn it oh no guys <laughs> guys <laughs> oh no this is so bad you're so funny thank you aren't i i go boo boo Dude, classic, classic. <sighs> okay, what do I do? Because anytime the camera freezes, I have to restart OBS and I can't restart OBS. <sighs> Peace, I too, sigh. What was I saying? Oh, I would scam you guys if I did a poll. Why is the black screen? Because I was going to paint my nose black. Nah, the capture card froze. I don't know why. Anyway, so how are you guys today? It's 12.36 for me, halfway through my day. Did you guys get all your chores done? Wait, it's technically the... Oh, it's the second Friday of the month, so... Anybody is today's payday? Wait, is today anybody's payday? Who got paid? I think all companies should have direct deposit. Checks are stupid and dumb. No, Sag. I went to work this morning. L. You should just work from home. Got out at 10? That's pretty good, though. I don't think... Um, I don't know. I feel like... Because one of my friends keeps telling me to get a, a poopy office job, right? Where I just do this all day. And, like, that would be fine. But I know a lot of corporate or office-based work is not, like, productive. So it's like, here's one project, you have eight hours to do it, and you can't clock out till five. You know, I'd be speedrunning. Because all my previous jobs have been production-based, so like, you're like, you have to go boom, boom, boom. Like, I don't want to spend my time doing nothing. That's why, everybody, can we hit a million subscribers? Can we do it? 
I was thinking about it. And all the people who have YouTube channels, it's basically a job. You're running a mini production company. And I think that's what a lot of people don't realize. It's not like you click go live or you click on on the camera and it's done. Like most people have a team of editors. Most people have like a social media manager, a channel manager. You know, it's a, it's a real job. <laughs> That's my job, but I tell my job, no, you'll get it next week. Imagine your boss is watching right now. Imagine I'm your boss. <laughs> yeah, this is, I hate the glitter polishes. They just don't come off. Like, Hollow Tacos, hashtag not sponsored, is the best nail polish I've ever had. But their polish is so strong. Okay, granted, the regular, like, chrome and matte polishes come off easy, but their glitters don't. He knows I fight with him? Okay. <laughs> Because I never saw myself as, like, a management figure. But after working management, dude, I don't think I can work under anybody else ever again. I can't. Like, I hate being bossed around. I hate being told what to do. And I hate whenever there's, like, a certain process and there's, like, a much more efficient way to do it. But we can't do it the more efficient way. Because big boss man doesn't want us to do it that way. And it's, like, not for, like, any apparent reason. It's just because they want it done their way. And it's, like, dumb. It's also, like, a pride thing. I don't know if I could do it. I'm very much a pushover, but... I'm more of a pushover in the sense of... I will go out of my way to do something, but I don't like being bossed around. Like, I'm not going to be the kid who gets pushed around on the playground. My boss was upset we didn't drive to work in the flood. Dude, he's insane. Did he drive to work in the flood? Huh? Huh? Isn't that, like, declared a national emergency at this point? Yeah, but he was hella late. Okay, well. Well. <laughs> um. I guess he's kind of valid then. <laughs> uh. I don't know who's side to take. I was lucky because anytime it snowed, my dad would just drive me to work. Because there was one time I rode my bike after, it was like the day after it snowed, so there was ice everywhere. So all like, it also rained that night. So like all the, all the sewage drains were like overflowing with water. So then in the morning they all froze. So like all, there was ice all over. And I hit, so you know how like the sidewalk dips for like, you know, the AA, F, -F, -F whatever the fuck. <laughs> so like I was... I was on my bike, I was about to hit the little dip part, and I skidded, and I almost skidded into the road. And, like, this lady, she was in her minivan going to school with her kids, she pops her head out the window, she's like, are you okay, honey? I'm like, yeah. But I had, like, I had a decent scrape on my leg, because it tore through my pants, the sidewalk did, and then I had some scrapes on my hand. And, like, when you're working in food, oh, shit. <laughs> I spilled so much. Like, when you're working with food, if you have one little cut, it's fine. You just have to get, like, medical-grade, like, tape, and it covers it. But, like, I had scrapes, like, all over here. So, like, basically my whole palm was bloody. <laughs> it was bad. So I was like, hey, I don't, I don't think I can serve food today. And then I sent pictures to my boss, and she's like, well, it's not that bad. And I'm like, okay. So, like... <laughs> Um, 
I worked on the line for like a few hours. I wore two gloves and you could see my hand was like still bleeding like through the glove. And then I, I asked one of my my coworkers to cover my shift. I was like, dude, I cut my hand pretty good. And they were like, I got you, piece of. Because, like, if I had just cut my finger, it would have been fine. But, like, I scraped up my palm. I would have just gone home. No, I couldn't because I was the opener. So, like, if I didn't show up and open the store, then no sandwiches. Okay, one more nail left. I just realized I have to trim my nails too, huh? Does my nails grow fairly quickly? They usually grow a millimeter a week. Which doesn't seem like a lot. Trust me, it is. Wait, pause. Did you guys see the Drake leaks? <laughs> Why is there not two cameras for the nails? Well, because my second camera is like here. Oh, wait, I should have tested my new camera. My $10 Big Lots camera. Because having me stretch out isn't comfortable and I would have worse painting skills. Anyway, I saw the leaks before they were, like, scraped from the internet. I know, like, okay, this is all I'll say about it. Because, <laughs> like, people were commenting, like, huge, holy moly, but I was like, it's, like, kind of pencil-like. I don't know. Wait, there's a typo in the chat. Ew. I need to fix that later. I'm almost done. I'm almost done. I promise. Okay, it's not coming off, but it's fine. I'm gonna cover it. So, anytime you do acetate on your nails, you have to wash your hands with soap and water after. Because if you don't, um... Your nail polish will kind of resist against your nail because it's nail polish remover. So if you don't wash it off, then your polish will fall off sooner. So I'm going to go wash my hands. I am back. Okay, so right now, my nails are about two to three millimeters long. I want to get them down to one. Um, audio warning. Okay, also, I stole this nail clipper from my mom. Because it's like the only good one I've found. Because I hate the nail clippers to that, that don't store like the nail. My sister, she has clippers that don't store the clippings after you clip. So they'll just fly across the room. And it's really frustrating because there were some situations where she doesn't have a lot of social awareness, right? So <laughs> there was one, she does this a lot. There was one time where it was me and my roommate and my sister watching a movie in her room. And she just busts out the nail clippers and start clipping her toenails. And I'm like, what are you doing? <laughs> She's crazy. Okay, that's like perfect. So I've shaved off about half of the nail. 
because that's going to grow back in about two weeks. Call me controversial, but I don't file my nails after. I like when it gets caught on my clothes. Just kidding, I don't. I don't know how to file my nails. I find that they're like rougher after, which makes no sense. Four down. Wait, should I paint my nails? I just realized I have an appointment next week. And I don't want to share what it's for, but like sometimes when they test your circulation, they like pinch your nail bed. To see, like, how... You know when you pinch your finger? It's white, and then the blood comes back? Sometimes they make you, like, not have polish. That way they can see your circulation better. Well, they didn't tell me I had to do that, so it's fine. Okay, for comparison, this is what I normally trim to. Like, a little bit more than a millimeter. And to compare... So this is how much my nails grow in about two weeks. Not too bad. I usually don't trim down right to the nail bed. Because I hate feeling like the underneath of my finger tab on surfaces. Man, I really want to play Wii Fit again. But I'm like too scared to play it on stream. <laughs> because I'm like... I'm too heavy. <laughs> Do you guys see the Zoyo clip where he stepped on the Wii Fit board and it, his weight just didn't even register? <laughs> I'm not that big, but like, I'd be so scared of breaking it. Oh, I cut it wrong. It's crooked now. So my friend that gave me the Wii U that I used for stream years ago. They came over to my place the other weekend. And they saw that I had the Wii U out. And they were like, oh my god, you still have it. And I was like, yes. And they were like, can I have it back? And I was like... It's been almost six years. No. Because <laughs> I, di I didn't buy it from them. Like, they just gave it to me. And I was like, no, you could not have it back. Like, I already have all my new saves on it. And they're like, shit. Because I was telling them how I was doing, like, Wii theme streams a few weeks ago. And they were like, dang, that sounds fun. I kind of want to get a... A Wii again. And I had to make sure after they left my place so they didn't caught my Wii U. That was theirs, but it's not mine. Just kidding, they wouldn't steal. Unless... Yeah, all done. <clears throat> now we paint. I'm gonna go in with the hot. Well, you can't even see the hot wire pink. I think their electric line had the best colors. I like how bright they are. I know you're supposed to do a thin coat of polish, but I usually put it on thick. Because whenever I do like the regular opaque colors, I will only do one coat. Oh, I messed up already. Oh my god. 
Hey, Keelan, welcome in. Can we get some yo's? Hello. It's pretty opaque with just one coat. You can't really see it on camera, but I, I clipped. I clipped the top of my nail bed. My first message got modded? Wait, I didn't even notice it. What did you say? Thick. Yeah, that's a block term. <laughs> Hi, Keelan. Can we get some yo's? Hey, man. Congrats. Keelan has gotten a lot of messages modded. Just because you now have a one-year badge doesn't mean you can misbehave, Keelan. I would like to say this is how I actually paint my nails. Like, this close to my face. You can see I'm like six inches away. I was only repeating what you said. Do you think I said T-H-I-C-C? -C? I said thick, not thick. She is blind, your honor. Hey, that, that's so mean. I've needed glasses since I was a little child, but my parents didn't buy me glasses till middle school. Apparently, that's called medical neglect. Guys, sub only, sub only. <laughs> Twins? No, it was wild because when I was in elementary, they had like yearly health exams at school so they would like test your eyes they would weigh you they would like text your test your flexibility and stuff like it was in the library for some reason and i remember it was always during the book fair so like you would do your test they would take like two hours out of the day and once a year you would everybody would line up in the library take your little test and then spend the rest of the two hour window at the book fair but the nurse was always like, hey, Peason might need glasses. And my parents were like, no, she's fine. She's fine. Turns out I wasn't. But what is good is that my vision, my, my vision hasn't deteriorated in the past three years, which is kind of cool. But I also have the jugga jugga vision sometimes, the jittery vision. Jugga jugga is like... Okay, if you're if you're Asian, you might kind of get this, but for my mom, she lived in Japan for a few years, and a lot of her slang, like you make sounds for noises, so jugga jugga, in in my family means like shaky, crooked. Wait, they gave you the vaccine at school? What is this woke liberal UK schooling? <laughs> Wait, that's kind of good that they did vaccines at school. They should do that here. Because the only way to get vaccines here is at your doctor. And then sometimes they have like pop up booths at our mall. And then I remember they had like a buffet at the mall. And sometimes you would get like a free coupon after you get your vaccine to go to the buffet. But they stopped doing that. When I turn like 10. Because, you know, they're losing money. Did you know you can go blind for getting LASIK? Yep. If they mess up, it's GG's. Goodbye, eyes. Yeah, it's like really fucked up. Like, my mom has been considering LASIK for a while. But I told her, don't do it. Don't do it. I know you can barely see now. But do you want to be like, legit blind? And you know what? Glasses are cute. Yeah, I got one thing, one hand done. Okay, guys, we're gonna do an informal poll. If I do Mario Kart with viewers later, who wants to play in like an hour and a half? Who wants to play? Because if I have at least two people who want to play, then I'll play. I can't imagine myself without glasses. Like, imagine me walking around like this. Ew. My eyes are too small for my face. I think I look better with glasses. I'll watch, but I won't play. Okay. 
As long as we have two. Because with sub-only streams, the notifications only go to subs, which makes sense. But then you get less, like, randos come in. And, like, less people who potentially would want to subscribe to watch it. <laughs> so you're paying for a chance to go blind? What a steal! What I do wonder is that, like, can you sue the LASIK company? Or is it just, like, you sign an, like, a, an, a, uh, what's it called? Like, a waiver of no liability? Or, like, you know, sometimes people get, like, botched plastic surgery? What happens there? Like, you're just fucked up. You have to sign that it's your fault? Like, it's a voluntary procedure? That's, like, so- I hate America. Like, you sign a little paper, and, like, all your rights are gone? That's legitimately so dumb. I don't need a BBL. My ass is already so fat. Smile. <laughs> You guys will never see it. <laughs> the final nail. My right hand is always going to be messy because my left hand ain't it. Wait, I saw a TikTok, and it was like this teenager or young adult going around his family during, it was either Thanksgiving or Christmas, and he was asking all his family members to check out their nails, and apparently if you look at it like this, you're straight, and if you go like this, you're, you're gay. <laughs> and it was so funny, because when I look at my nails, like, look at your nails right now, like, do you go like this, or this, to look at them? I, I do both. <laughs> <laughs> I th I think I do this more though. But you know what? I it kind of makes sense that I do both because you know what I'm by. Okay, I'll wait like a few minutes for my polish to dry and then we'll do some games because I don't want to mess up my polish. Back to my Safeway meal. The only reason why I got the plate was because it's cheaper to order it like this. Because you can either get the plate or the a la carte. And the a la carte was like $9 a pound. It was crazy. It's Safeway. <laughs> I was trying to make an S. That kind of looks like an S, right? Panda Express is literally a scam. It's so expensive. The food is all right. I think their best is their just like regular grilled teriyaki chicken. But it's so expensive. Every like not fast food, but, like, you know the restaurants that aren't dining, but, like, aren't fast food? The in-between, they're so expensive. I think Chipotle is decently priced for the portion size. But them almost charging th $3 for, like, a scoop of guac is insane. Dude, Safeway fried rice is so bad. It's so dry.
What is nice though is that since I live in a larger city, a lot of restaurants are paired with like the food bank. Because my roommate's family, they get stuff from the food bank sometimes because in our city, it's income based and then demand based. So like they'll prioritize the brokies and then if they have enough food like extra to give out to people who are above the income maximum then they'll give it to them so because my roommate's family that they're like middle class you know they got a good bag so like one of his family members will always drop off food so there'll be food from safeway starbucks dude during the the boycotting of starbucks we got a lot of free breakfast sandwiches But they were really bad because normally they're supposed to be kept frozen, but the food bank kept them in the fridge, so they were super soggy and gross. The only good Starbucks sandwich was the Impossible Sausage, and since they discontinued it, I can't support them anymore. I'm almost done. my tv just turned off oh i can't screen share my tv but um did you guys ever see the the cinderella with brandy in it it's my favorite like version of cinderella ever it's so good Spoilers. <laughs> Wait, this song. Final bite. Okay, nails are done, lunch has been eaten, I think we can game now. So today, wait, I need to see if the audio synced. Turning this off, sorry. <clears throat> do, 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 do. The audio is synced. Okay. Got you, dude. No, I'm not going to edit this down. <laughs> okay. So today, I'm going to be 
doing the demo for Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Rex U Team DX. I don't know what that means. It sounds like an anime title. So, I remember seeing this game come out in 2020, and I kind of was interested, but I never got it. But since there's a demo, I thought, why not? Let's play through the demo today. So let's go ahead and get started. The thumbnail looks cute, though. Wait, the category has three viewers. <laughs> Changing the title. Demo, is this game any good? I'll put three question marks. <clears throat> I hope there's voice acting. Illustrations are cute. I don't get why they don't let you change the language later on. That's kind of silly. Wait, that's kind of nice for a 3D render. Okay, you can tell this is on the Switch. <laughs> Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Rescue Team DX Okay, we're in. Admire illustration. Oh wait, it kinda looks like Bulbasaur's ears. That's cute. I'm in. Welcome. This is the portal that leads to the world of Pokemon. But before I can let you through, I have several questions for you. Wait, there's a quiz? No. I want you to answer them sincerely. Are you ready? Okay. Let the interview begin. You are offered a choice of two gifts. Which one will you take? <laughs> Would you smash or fetch this Pokemon? <laughs> Imagine. <laughs> okay, should I take the big box or the small box? I don't like clutter, so I'll take the small box. Do you like pranks? No. Pranks are... If you're a prankster... You are dumb. I don't like when people prank. I like little goofs and gaffs, but like going out of your way to plan a prank, you need to get a life. Like seriously. Prank YouTubers in like 2013 were scum of the earth, so no. You are suddenly locked inside a pitch black room. What do you do? <laughs> You're right. <laughs> Clean the room? Why would you clean the room? <laughs> You're like, it's dark, let me... If I wipe the walls, maybe I can wipe the darkness away. <laughs> okay. Okay, if... Okay, realistically, if I'm trapped... I would probably cry first. No, I would yell for help, obviously. And then I would try to kick the door. Because I got... Big muscles. Wait, you guys can't see them today. J just picture huge biceps. I would kick the door. Do you like to noisily enjoy yourself with others? Wait, is this a trick question? I in Japan, you're supposed to be polite. Suimasen. 
If I'm home, yeah, I might like laugh really loud, but if I'm in public, I try to be quiet. So I would say in public, no, I try my best to be quiet. Okay, what is this? Is, are they trying to smash? Like, is this... Is this like a first date? They're asking so many questions. They said there was gonna be three, I thought. Do others often call you childish? Okay, Chad, you get to answer this one. Do you guys think I'm childish? Yes or no? I, I think not. I think not. We need one more opinion. I think not. We have one vote for no. I don't think I'm childish. Hmm. Peace, I too. Hmm. There's, there's not much that I do that could be considered childish. I mean, I wear little headphones in public, but that's because I don't like noises. I'll say no. It's the summer festival. Do you like carnivals? Not really. A lot of carnivals and fairs is just consumerism. You want to go on a ride? That'll cost 20 bucks to get two tickets. You want food? It'll cost you $10 to get a lollipop. And they're too crowded. I don't care. It sounds fun, but it's not. Dude, what is this? They're asking so many questions. I want to play Pokemon. You feel lonesome when you're alone. No. If I have my little phone, then I'm fine. I don't like being home alone though, cause that's scary. But if I'm like alone in public, you know, I can go out to eat and it's fine. So no. You win a lottery, Pog. What do you do with the money? get taxed on it, right? There's, there's not much that I would buy. I would save it and then invest, invest it. I would put it all into Bitcoin. I wouldn't give it away. I wouldn't give the money away. Or, wait. <laughs> wait, that sounds bad. That sounds bad. I wouldn't give the money away. Because in that situation, you would I would have to prioritize like self-preservation. Because you know, Pewson can't make money. Or um I can make money now, but I would I would uh cause uh, I don't know, it's hard. I'm indifferent about donating. Cause when you donate to a cause, you don't necessarily know like exactly where your money's going to. Because it could go towards, like, actual food or medicine. Or it could go to, like, paying the driver. I don't know. And I'm, uh, this is bad. I'm not on screen. I'm, like, really indifferent about, like, I just think things should be provided for people anyway. Like, there should not have to be a non-profit that gives families diapers. Like, that should not be a thing. Like, people should just have access to those resources anyway. People should not have to donate money to the food bank. That should just be given to people. Like, food or, or money. Like, I, I don't like how so much of our infrastructure is based on donations. Like, that to me is wrong. That means something is not right within the system. Like, yes, still donate. Yes, still give your time and volunteer. But still, like, be looking at the bigger picture. Like, still be advocating for policy change. Sub only stream. Sub only stream. And then also, when you donate, it's seen as, like, false philanthropy. 
Like, the people who weaponize, they're like, Oh, I donated $5,000 to this cause, so now I can be a dick. It's like, no, that's not. Like, okay, if I ever were to donate to something, I would do it privately. Ew, what's with the color balance? I'm green. <laughs> I'm like, welcome in. Can we get some yo's? Hello. I don't like donating when they ask at stores. Do not ever. If they ask you at... If they ask you at the register, do you want a round of your donation to help the starving children? You say no. Yeah, the companies write it off because you are technically giving the establishment money to donate on your behalf. So it's a it's a write-off for the company. It's so stupid. Like, if you want to support a cause, donate directly to their website or their donation fund link. Like, that's the best way to do it. That way there's no middleman. No, like, fees, usually. Donate directly to the cause. That's- Okay, that's also why I don't like the idea of charity streams. Yes, they're cool, they're good. But, more often than not, larger creators are sponsored to do donation st streams. Um, there's usually more fees. And a lot of streams- Like, you know how there's, like, alerts on screen whenever people donate? Unless it's integrated into, like, actual Twitch. Because, like, Twitch has a function to where you can link up with the charity and you can donate right on Twitch now. But all the people who who say, I'm gonna donate my subs and bits and revenue from this stream today. They, that's like, okay. When, when somebody says, all your bits today will go towards the charity. Like, Twitch is still taking a cut of those bits, the streamer. Hopefully we'll donate whatever rev share they get, but it's just still better to donate right to the charity. That's why, like, GoFundMes are the best. Or not GoFundMes, the Tiltify, I think, are the best. Minimal fees and majority goes to the actual charity organization. And, like, yeah, that's, that's why I don't like the idea of a charity stream. I don't think I will ever do one. I don't know. My opinion might change, but I just don't think they're, like, help- Or, okay, they are helpful. There's a lot of complexities to it. Like, I would rather, me myself, if I'm a big streamer, I would rather donate 20k myself. Right? Like, I can bring awareness to an issue, but I wouldn't do it for a stream. It'd be different if you're, like, a larger streamer to where you can mobilize a lot of people. But for me, how many viewers do I have? Zero? <laughs> it's like, you... you It'd be better for me to just donate on my own. I don't know, I'm... Cancel me, guys, after an ad. <laughs> Sub if you want to dodge the ad. Sub only stream. Okay, I'm gonna put my hair up. It's bothering me. Even if I don't feel it, it's bothering me. My nails are dry, too. <laughs> I've donated to a few charities when I had money. I always, or when I had money, I always would donate to Planned Parenthood. I donated some money to Cutely's family members GoFundMe because they had cancer, and that was sad. I gave him $50 when I only had like $60 in my account. Anyway, enough about charity. I don't want to get canceled. Do you want to play as a boy or a girl? El Nintendo, I'll be a little girl. chooses my Pokemon? You appear to be the timid type. No! No! Wait, can I be the Psyduck? You may find it hard to go to the washroom at night. What? Wait, what is it saying? What? Is it saying that I'm scared of the dark? I'm not scared of the dark. 
you may also find it too frightening to go back to school to get something you left behind in class. No? Dude, the game doesn't know me at all. If you're ever walking on a dark street at night, you probably turn around off and they check behind you. No, that's normal. That's normal. But your timid nature is also your good point. Because those who know fear are those who know true courage. A timid person like you should be... Please, only be the skitty, skitty. What? How is Mudkip timid? The Pokemon Mudkip. You appear to be the Pokemon Mudkip, is that correct? Wait, I can change? Nah, I'll take it. Yeah, I'll, I'll, Mudkip is fine. Mudkip is cute. This is the final step. Who would you like to have as a partner? Choose the Pokemon you want as your partner from this group. Who will be your partner? We got Eevee, Cyndaquil, Chikorita, Pikachu, Cubo. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Germander, Skitty, Meowth, Torchic. Don't tell me, don't tell me. Trico and Matcha. I, my favorite is Skitty. I, I really liked May's episodes where she had the Pokemon shows. Skitty, yay! Wait, why does this matter? I saw the Y at the end and I got inspired. Slay! <laughs> and we're in. Are these two alright? Yes. Which Pokemon would you like to be? Wait, what? I thought it was Mudkip. I'm so confused. Honestly, I like Eevee. Oh, did I press the wrong button? I think I pressed the reset button by accident. Okay, I'll go back to Mudkip and Skinny. Yeah, I'll reset. I'll go back to what I had. That's like so silly that you can go back and change against your faded choice. These two are good. I must have pressed B by accident. Okay, we're all set. Let's get you into the world of Pokemon. Go for it. Hmm. 
Where am I? Am I dreaming this? I feel a pleasant breeze. I hear a voice from somewhere. I wonder who it is. Excuse me. Please wake up. Come on. Wake up. Oh wait, that's not the voice I want to give Skitty. <laughs> You're finally awake! Great! Hmm. Where is this? You were passed out here. I'm glad to see you awake. I'm Celeste. <laughs> Happy to meet you. And you are? I've never seen you around before. Huh? You say you're a human? But you look like... A normal mudkip in every way. What happened to my ass? <laughs> it, it's true. I have turned into a mudkip. But why? I don't remember anything. Um, you're kind of weird. What's your name? My name? That's right, my name is... Peace in. Spelled it wrong. <laughs> God damn it. Okay, how's the music in comparison to my voice? I'm gonna listen to it real quick. Sorry, there was an echo. This should be fine now. Okay, one more test, one more test. It's a tad loud. I'll put it down to 13. <clears throat> I kicked my desk by accident. I don't remember anything, but I somehow turned into a mudkip. I think I got reincarnated. The car must have finally hit me. And let me fix it. Oh, Peason's your name? Well, isn't it a funny name? Hey, I came up with this user when I was 13. And it's really unique. Somebody, please help me! Huh? I hear shouts from over there. What's wrong? Oh, it's horrible. My caterpie fell into a cavern. My poor baby. What? A huge fissure opened in the ground and my caterpie fell in. He's too young to crawl up by himself. When I went to get my baby, Pokemon suddenly attacked me. Huh? You were attacked? By other Pokemon? They must be enraged by the fissure and are out of control. That's what I think. I'm not strong enough to fend off those wild Pokemon. What will become of my baby? Oh, what am I to do? Oh dear, oh dear. This sounds bad. We have to go help. Man, drama. Tiny Woods. Could this be a mystery dungeon? It is. It's a mystery dungeon. A mystery dungeon is truly a mysterious place. The layout and the items change every time you enter. You can proceed by using the stairs, but you have to find the stairs first. And you remember that Butterfree said Pokemon in the dungeon attack, right? If necessary, we have to fight. Let's do our best, Peason. 
Try using directional stick to walk. You can also move with the directional pad. Oh, wait, the movement is... Oh, it's so weird. It's almost like I'm moving across, like, points on a grid. Oh my god! How do I kill it? Use a move with A. Die. <laughs> Wait, if I just press A, I spin. so weird. It's really choppy. Die. I'm in. How to read the map. Oh, okay. I was confused what this was. I'm yellow, teammates are green, items are blue, Pokemon are red, stairs white. Just kill him! Money in this world. Poke is the money in this world. You can use it when you want to buy something. Okay, I don't like how things are spoiled on the map. Restore HP with an Oron Berry. Eat an Oron Berry to restore some HP. To eat one, press X to open the menu and then select bag. Oh, I'm, my cam is blocking the map. Here, I'll do bottom left. I don't like how it spoils where everything is. That's kind of an L. Whoa! When I hold B? <laughs> Wait, the movement is so weird. Press L for auto mode. Wait, that's so dumb. They've like made everything too efficient in the game. Let's kill him. Oh, I'm pressing the wrong- I was pressing B. What's the point of auto mode? I guess if you get stuck, maybe? Or if you don't know how to read a map? Ooh, a hundred bucks! But the animation when you hold B is- Oh, I hate that. Ooh! When was the last time Pokemon made a good game? Kill him! Wait, there's an enemy uh, following us. Get him. <laughs> Bam, water gun. <laughs> Wait, enemies keep spawning. What? I missed. Die. Wait, I'm getting hungry. <laughs> Barry was somewhat filled. With what? This game is so weird. I'm not saying that. <laughs> I'm not saying that. Where are you? We came to rescue you. Huh? 
Your mom's waiting. Let's get you out. Okay. Peason successfully created the or created. Peason successfully completed the rescue at Tiny Woods. Oh, my baby's safe. I'm sorry. I don't know how I could ever thank you properly. Oh, that's okay. It's been dangerous lately with sudden quakes and fissures like that one. It was great to find your little boy unharmed. Please, may I have your names at least? I'm Soleil. And this is Peason. Cool. He's uh, staring at me adoringly. Wait, I think he has a crush. Those sparkly eyes, it's a little embarrassing. But this doesn't feel bad either. It's like I'm a hero. Helping Pokemon in trouble might be a good experience. <gasps> Thank you, Slay and Peason. I know it isn't really enough, but this is a token of our thanks. Please accept it. You got a tiny reviver seed. You got a picture berry. You got $500? Yo. Thank you so much. Goodbye. Thank you for helping. You're very tough. I'm sure impressed. So what are you going to do? Do you have any plans? You want to come over later? Listen, Peason. If you don't have a place to stay, you should come with me. Wait, I'm like, I was joking about coming over. <laughs> Yo, I'm in. Well, this is my place. Wow. I can't explain, but I'm happy. I'm a human being, but I like this place. I feel weirdly happy. Might be an instinct thing for Pokemon. Maybe this is what it feels like to want to wag your tail. It doesn't matter. I'm happy. Maybe I feel that way because I'm a mudkip. Oh, peace and you're impressed, aren't you? I thought so. I thought this would make a good place for you to live, Peason. I'm sure you would like it. This is your mailbox. They deliver mail from other Pokemon here. Many Pokemon are suffering from these natural disasters, just like the fissure Canopy fell into. There have been all sorts of nature disasters recently. I want to do good. I want to help Pokemon like that. I want to help make the world a safer place for Pokemon. So, um, well, I saw how good you were when we rescued Caterpie. Would you like to form a rescue team with me? I think we could be the world's number one rescue team, Peason. What do you think? No. Huh? Oh no, please! Peason, I'm sure that would make a first class rescue team together. Please! Will you form a rescue team with me? No. Huh? Oh no, please! <laughs> Is she gonna keep saying the same thing? No. <laughs> No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Wait, she said no. No. <laughs> okay, fine. I'll do it. Okay, don't deal. From now on, Peace and we're partners in our rescue team. I'm so good, lad. The team's name is. Wait, I haven't decided on one. Listen, Peace and what would be a good name for us? Top Helpers? That sounds sus. <laughs> Let's do no. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. seem like there's gonna be like any crazy plot though it's probably just gonna be us saving people our team name is I refuse 
I never wanted to do this. funny to me. <coughs> and the, the game thought I was timid. Okay, okay. Started on a rescue team. I have two of them, so let's put them on. Peace and put on the scarf she got from Slay. It looks great. You wear well, Peace and. Don't you feel focused? Like we're on the same team together? Rescue team, I refuse. <laughs> let's do good starting tomorrow. And that is how Peace and Slay began their careers together as a rescue team. Wait, is that it? Oh, okay. The next morning. I'm still the same. The way I look, I'm still a mudkip. But why would I be transformed into a Pokemon? Hmm. I don't understand this at all. <laughs> oh, that's right. That Pokemon. I think it was Slay. We made a promise to form a rescue team together. I wonder what Slay is doing. I should go out. Is there any food in here? I wonder if you chose a different starting Pokemon, there, there will or won't be water in the house. Oh, why is she sleeping outside? Huh? Oh no! <laughs> Sorry! I was so excited about today, I've been waiting here since dawn! I must have fallen asleep! Anyway, today marks the start of our rescue team. Let's always do our best. But, um, we don't have any job offers yet. <laughs> oh. oh, yeah. Maybe there's something in the mailbox. Play check the mailbox. The mailbox contained a rescue team starter set. I knew it'd be there. It's the rescue team starter set. They always give you one if you start a rescue team. Slay opened the rescue team starter set. There was a rescue team badge inside. And there was also a two box too. There was also an issue of Pokemon news inside. Yes, there are some good things here. First off, the rescue team badge. It shows that we are a rescue team. This is a toolbox. Use it to carry items you find in dungeons. Let's put the stuff Butterfree gave us in here for now. Items are very useful, so, le so let's use them on our adventures. And finally, a copy of the Pokemon News. It's useful for rescue teams. They're just giving us more propaganda. I'll put the Pokemon News in the mailbox, so you should read it later on. Anything else? Is there any other mail? Maybe not? Slay checked the mailbox, but the mailbox was empty. Okay, so there isn't any mail for us after all. If there were any rescue jobs, we would be getting mail, but... Nobody knows about us since we're such a new team, I guess. <laughs> huh. Ooh. Oh! 
know. I wonder what it could be. <laughs> oh, I can move now. Peace in. Please check the mailbox. I want to go. Let me go. Oh, uh, uh, not, she's not letting me move. Oh, I can go back here. Oh, secret? I want to go back to bed. I never wanted to be on this team. A cab. Fine, I'll check the mail. Hmm, maybe it's a rescue job offer. What does it say? Peace in, read the letter. Buzz, buzz, buzz. I heard about you from Caterpie. Please, we need your help. Magnemite is in trouble. A strange electromagnetic wave flowed through our dungeon, and it struck Magnemite and Mag. Oh, there's two. And it struck Magnemite and Magnemite together. That isn't enough to form a magneton. It's not the. It's not complete the way it is now. Please, we need help. Buzz, buzz, buzz. From Magnemite's friend. Oh, what do you think? Do you think we should go? No. First job, let's go! No, I'm scared of getting shocked. It's funny because the music stops too. <laughs> You're right, there is no freedom in this goddamn world. I don't want you. Wait, aren't water Pokemon weak to electricity? I'm gonna die! I don't wanna go! I'm gonna die! That's the spirit, let's do our best! I'm just one little mud kid. Oh, there you are, Buzz Buzz. My friends are in this cavern. Blah. My friends should be on B6F. Please help them. Blah. Thank you, mud kid. Blah. Okay, we gotta go down six floors. Hold B and press L to dash. Okay, I already figured that out. Because I'm a gamer. Apples. If your belly is feeling empty, eat an apple to recover. If your belly reaches zero, your HP will go down every time you make a move. Sneak up on this ratatin. No, he saw me. Wait, he's so strong. like an actual Pokemon game. Because right now I just have to press A. Fighting corridors. If you face multiple enemies at once, retreat to a corridor to fight them one at a time. Why not? I want to I wanna kill them both. About turns. For every one move you make in a dungeon, your, uh, your, <clears throat> your opponent will also make one move. Turns always go in order. On the other hand, if you don't move, neither will your opponents. Take your time and choose your actions wisely. So they're saying to not speed run. Yeah, I, I can walk diagonally already.
I don't think I'm gonna use that too. Oh, choose a move. Okay. Um, water gun. So I guess when you press A, it just auto chooses the best move for the Pokemon. If you faint in the dungeon, if you're in a dungeon and fail in your adventure, you lose all the items and money you're carrying. Wonder Tile. If you step in a Wonder Tile in a dungeon, your lowered stats will return to normal. But if your stats have been boosted, they also return to normal. So watch out. Wait, so they're dumb. No! Okay, so Wonder Tiles are bad. If you take a tiny reviver seed or a reviver seed into a dungeon, you'll be revived as soon as you faint. Level up! Great! I leveled up! I gain nothing. Oh, dead end. Wow, wow. Let's kill him. I hope. Stairs are right here. <laughs> Oopsie. I didn't realize it spawned us right at the staircase. Change the leader. You can change the leader by pressing directional stick. Or plus, you'll be able to control Pokemon other than just the hero. I don't want to do that though. I like Mudkip. Really? Why? I swear. Oh wait, maybe it's cause of OBS. Cause I'm trying the different audio today. Hmm. Peace I too. Hmm. Okay. Let's fix this. I'm going to verify that the game is still synced. Okay, it's good. So you guys have to tell me if there's any issues with the game audio. Okay? Got it? Back in. Oh my god! There's two of them. Yeah, I'm not even timing my attacks. I'm just spamming A. Level up. I leveled up. Insightful commentary. Thank you. Yeah, the music is very nice, though. Move 
move growth. Your moves sometimes power up as you use them. The moves god changes from this, and when it's full, the move will power up, increasing its power, accuracy, and PP. The amount of move grows is shared by your team, so if your whole team uses the same move, that move's growth will be faster. Okay. So you should probably be trying to have a variety of attacks. It's kind of cool you can see that anyone's moving on the map. That way you know which area to dodge, I guess. Oh! He caught him quick! I was too far away to fight there, I'm sorry. Heason is getting hungry. <clears throat> Magnemite should be here. Oh, there they are. Let's get them out safely. <clears throat> Heeson successfully completed the job at Thunderwave Cave. Our body separated. Mm, rejoice. Mm. Yay. Mm. Yay. Mm. Be thankful, you two. You are our heroes. Thank you. You got a big apple. You got an orange berry. You got six hundred and fifty dollars. I'm so glad our rescue mission went so well today. I need to confess, since that was our first job as a rescue team, I was really, really nervous. I can't believe how tired I am. I'm going to go home and get some sleep. Let's do good again tomorrow. See you. Where? Where am I? Maybe? Is this a dream? Oh. There's someone here. Who is it? Someone I know? Huh. I can't remember. I think I dreamt something, but I can't quite remember what that dream was about. Oh well. Today is another day of rescues. I wonder if I have any mail. Better check the mailbox. Oops, I better check the mailbox. No freedom here. Peason checked the mailbox, but there was no mail seeking help from the rescue team. Good morning, Peason. Aren't you up early? Oh, so you did check the mailbox. So, was there anything? Were there any rescue requests? Huh? There's nothing? Oh, I guess that makes sense. After all, we've only just begun. Oh well, we should go to the Pokemon Square. We should check out the Pelipper Post Office. I think they have jobs posted. Pokemon Square is over here. Let's go. The mailbox is like literally full of them. This is Pokemon Square. This is the Kecleon shop. You can buy and sell items there. This is the Felicity Bank. You can save your money there.
This is the Gopin Link Shop. Gopin, Gopin can link moves for you. Huh? What's linking? Well, if you link moves, you can use them together at the same time. You should just ask Gopin for details. This is Kangaskhan Storage. If you store items here, they'll be safe. You should store important items here before you go out to a dungeon. Oh yeah, because they said if you die, you lose everything. It's just like Dark Souls. And over there is the Makuhita Dojo. At that dojo, you can learn or get training on various maneuvers used in dungeons. What do you think the businesses here help us? Oh, and there's also the Pelipper Post Office. That's up past here. I think we can get rescue job information there. So how about we go to the Pelipper Post Office first? Talk to your partner. Your partner will tell you all kinds of things. When you're not sure where to go, just ask your partner. Howdy, partner. Let's get this done. I want to do more rescuing. I mean, I hate the job. That building is the Pelipper Post Office. The game is very pretty, though. It's cute. This is where information is gathered from Pokemon needing rescue. See? Have a look at this bulletin board. It lists rescue jobs. Check it out. Wow, there is a lot of people who need help. Wait, this one. I'm, I lost in a battle. My consciousness is slipping. Help! I'll do this one. I'll do all of them. See? There were jobs listed, right? If you want to do a rescue job, choose the job and then go to the dungeon that's indicated. You can go to the dungeons by taking the path near the base. While we're starting out, we should handle the jobs that are posted here. Doing that should get our team some recognition. That should pull it that should pull in job offers to our mailbox soon. Developer post office can't be used in the demo version. You can use it in the full game. That's dumb. Why is it quiet now? I don't like this. I find it so boring that they just reuse old models. I agree. But like, how else would they make the Pokemon look different? Like, the anatomy would be the same across gens, right? Like, it'd be different if... Because like, this feels like a game where they could change the models because the environment style is different, so then it would kind of make sense to change the character styles. But then I feel like since Pokemon is such like an iconic IP, if they changed it, they might not be as recognizable for the little five-year-olds who play the game. They would be like, why did Pikachu look like he's supposed to? And then they won't buy the card games. Because that's how they make money. Welcome. This is Felicity Bank. How may I serve you? Sixteen hundred twenty-nine. Very well. I will guard it jealously. This is today's present. Please accept it. You got an apple. I await your next visit. What was up here? Oh. Hello. I 
I've heard fissures have opened up in the ground here and there. A trouble for everyone. It worries me to no end thinking that children will fall down into them. Okay, sir. Don't worry, we will rescue them. I'm gonna die, so I think I should be fine. I don't need no storage. This looks like a stove. <laughs> should I just hop in? This is the Makuhita Dojo. Only through rigorous training can we become stronger. Need tickets. I know one of the rescue missions gave me a ticket. Oh, I didn't mean to click through. Oops. Alright, let's practice passing by another Pokemon. Come toward me and try and press B while holding directional stick. Give it a try. That's it. That's how you pass by another Pokemon. Now let's see four more. Okay, three more. Give up! I'll give up! Alright. Okay, congratulations, you completed the training. Here's your reward a gold ribbon! You got a gold ribbon. Do you wanna keep training? No, this is dumb. I know how to play the game. Even though I've only been playing for an hour, I know what to do. Let's go save some people. They're waiting. Wait, I... I deposited all my money. Let's go save the people. You head to the dungeons from that road. Once we receive a job, let's go to the dungeon and solve the Pokemon's troubles. I wanna read the paper. I want some more propaganda. Welcome to a rescue team. To all new members, your badge has the power to send back to town any Pokemon you rescue. Just hold the badge up and it does the rest. By advancing through your adventure, you'll be rewarded points that raise your team's ranking. Aim for the bronze rank for now. From the Pokemon Rescue Organization. What's this one? Rescue team camps. Ooh! There's no dungeon over there, Peason. I want to meet my fellow comrades. Sparkling dungeons. There are sparkling dungeons. Wait. There are sparkles around the dungeon name. That's a sign that you get a lot of stuff. You can get almost twice the amount of money and a lot of treasure boxes. Tiny woods it is. I want to get rich. I really hate the dash animation. It's not fluid at all. Forty-four dollars, holy! Oh, 
Dungeon Messages. The messages in the bottom right of the screen will tell you what's happening in the dungeon. If you want to check past messages, go to the message log. We arrived at the floor where Nino Ran is. Easy. Status sleepless. The Pokemon won't get the sleep, napping, yawning, or nightmare status conditions. The status wears off when the Pokemon moves to the next floor. What? Why, why do we have eyes? I hate that. looking for. Job completed. Let's freaking go. Thank you. Please come see me at the Pelipper Post Office later. Peace and held up the rescue team badge. Nidoran gained a magical power. <laughs> Nidoran left the dungeon. Yes, I'll leave. <laughs> this is so silly. Pison successfully completed the job at Tiny Woods. Thank you for rescuing Nidoran. This is your reward. Bronze Dojo ticket, bank orb, and a hundred bucks. Didn't we do good today? Let's call it a night and get some rest. Okay, see you tomorrow. Only one mission a day? But the people are gonna die. I mean, Pokemon are gonna die. The next morning. Good morning, Pison. Let's do our best today. A fissure? Huh? What's going on? It's the goddamn diglets causing the fissures. Tunnels everywhere! Ooh, digging is so much fun! Er, uh, um... Where am I? Hey, what's going on? Oh my, my apologies! My name is Diglett! I was having a blast digging tunnels in front of the Pelipper Post Office! So much that I kept on digging and ended up here. I'm sorry I ruined your nice place. <laughs> Don't worry about it. It's just a hole. Are you saying that you will forgive me? Too many holes might annoy... Too many holes might annoy others, so don't dig too many. Of course. Thank you. From now on, I'll have fun digging, but... I'll also make sure to patch up the holes from time to time. Goodbye. More propaganda. Number two, rescue team basics. If you don't read your Pokemon news, your mailbox will get full and you won't get the latest issue of the news or any job mail. Sometimes Pokemon news comes with a gift, so make sure to read it often. From the Pokemon Rescue Organization. Trade at the Makuhita Dojo. If you have dojo tickets, you can trade at the Makuhita Dojo. At the Makuhita Dojo, your moves grow more than they do in dungeons, especially if you keep on hitting the foe with super effective moves. You can expect to grow a lot. You can also learn the controls of the dojo for free. Check out the Makuhita Dojo when you want to learn how to move. Wow, the letter contained two bronze dojo tickets. We fast traveled, okay. More jobs? Oh, 
Okay, the fast travel is nice. Let's go save some people. Also, I have to run an ad. Get boobed and non subs. Imagine watching a sub only stream as a non sub. The client Whirlpool is with you. One of the party members. Okay, this area is huge. I think I can only attack Pokemon when they're right in front of me. Again? You have to get lost again. Some people. Slaying leveled up. Putting enemies to sleep would be good. Okay, this, this level is huge. Don't pass out again. Oh, one turn is one move, too. Like me moving on the map. So silly. You wrapped to the floor where Puchiana is. attack diagonally. This feels like a mobile game. I know we want Pokemon to try new things, but... I don't think this is it. Thank you so much!
I know it earlier I was hating on the map mechanic, but it's nice not having to explore the whole area, I guess. I can just do my own little thing. Minum is here. Or Minum. Would you like to exit? Yes, we saved everyone. Peace and successfully completed the job at Thunderwave Cave. Thank you for rescuing me. This is your reward. One bronze dosha ticket and a hundred dollars. Thank you for taking me to Puchiana. This is your reward. One bank orb, one gold ribbon, one power drink, a hundred dollars. Thank you for rescuing me. One Petra Berry, one perfect apple, and a hundred dollars. Not too shabby. Didn't we do good today? Let's call it a night and get some rest. Okay, see you tomorrow. Back here. Again? Am I dreaming again? It's that Pokemon again. Huh? They're talking to me? I can't hear them clearly. What are they saying? Huh? It's shaking. An earthquake? Whoa, well, it's getting worse. For a dream, this feels strangely real, but... The next morning. Um, hello. Hello, uh, you are Pearson, aren't you? Oh, you can't see us, of course. How rude of us. We're pleased to meet you. We are Doug Trio. Last night during the earthquake, our child Diglett was attacked. What? Diglett? He was whisked away to the peak of a tall mountain. We couldn't possibly climb somewhere so high up. That is why we must call upon you for your help, Peason. Diglett was abducted by a Pokemon named Diglett was abducted by a Pokemon named Skarmory. It's a vilely vicious ruffian. Please do be careful. I hate Skarmories. Please, we need your help. We must go. <laughs> that was so sudden, there was no time to even say no. But I am concerned to hear that Diglett has been kidnapped. It's too bad. I better go. Good morning, Pison! Huh? You were just asked to go on a rescue mission? Yeah. Our child Diglett was kidnapped. 
by the goddamn Scormories. He was taken to Mr. Steele's summit. Please, we need your help. Bye-bye. What if he's pranking us? Um, okay. Wait, Diglett was the one digging holes here, right? This kidnapping is worrisome. Let's go. That's it for the demo version. You can play further with the full game. You can look around the town freely. To get to the main menu, choose others from the menu, and then save and go to main menu. Okay, well, I guess that's the... What is this game called? <laughs> that is the Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. I can't see the other part of the name. So that's the demo. A little over an hour. I'll be honest. This feels like a mobile game. I don't like it. It's like too simple. I assume like once you start leveling up more and the dungeons will get harder, but... It's too simple. I'm glad I played the demo. I'm not gonna get the full game. <laughs> it's also very kiddy. This one feels like it's- it feels like a baby game. Like, genuinely. I would rate it a... 3 out of 10. It's- it's not good. <laughs> I was saying this yesterday, but every game should have a demo. Because then, I think it'll make companies put out good stuff. Okay, well, I'm glad I played the demo at least. Because that was... That was not it. <laughs> okay. Let's get some music on. Should I save the game? How do I save the game? It's not plus. Wait, I generally don't know how to save. I'm not gonna play this again. It don't matter. I'm closing it. I did think the questionnaire at the start was interesting. Like, I didn't expect that at all. The little personality quiz? Wild. Okay, let's get some music on. Let's do Kirby. Okay. So... Plan is simple. Does anybody want to play Mario Kart? This is your one and only call. I can get on cool. We'll play Mario Kart for a little bit. When am I streaming tomorrow? Probably 11 or noon, normal time. Or like normal stream time. Do I have Mario Kart in? Yeah, Mario Kart is in here. I should be home? Pog. No narcs, but I'm making Valentine's. So if you want a Valentine, you have to watch tomorrow's stream. Oh wait, I just realized I did this stream in 60 FPS. So it's gonna look like shit! Whenever I do 60 FPS in Mario Kart, like, my bitrate just breaks. It's fine. The sub only stream. Nobody's gonna watch this. Like, VOD wise. I'm gonna verify that the audio is still synced before I set it up. My cut. My cut. Okay, it's good.
Ist da Bien. Mario Kart! I'll play for like 40 minutes. Because I kinda I gotta prep for tomorrow and I wanna rest a bit. I've been out since six. Wait, I should hide it. If you wanna play, type in chat and I'll send you the code. Okay, so this is going to be in friend lobby, search by room code. So I'm gonna whisper people codes. Okay, Mac, I sent you the code. Okay, that is correct. If you want to play, type play in chat and I will send you the code. I'll wait a few minutes. Whoever wins today gets a high five. Hashtag real, hashtag not click me. <laughs> Eastward. I was thinking about it last night. I even dreamed about it. I'm gonna be obnoxious. Hi, Mac. <laughs> New requirement if you want to play, you have to type. You have to type peace and it's cool in the chat. <laughs> This is the new requirement, Mac. If you want to keep playing, um, you gotta type in chat. If you want to play, type peace in is cool in the chat. I will kick you, Mac, if you don't type it. I'll kick you. You're cool, thank you. <laughs> um, we'll wait until, uh, 2.40. <laughs> that better not be a setup for a D's nuts joke. It better not be Mac. <laughs> what if I just have the text on screen the whole time? That would be funny. Two minutes. Okay. I believe you. What you ordering? I haven't, like, ordered myself food delivery in so long. I've had DoorDash deleted for a while. Usually whenever we get food delivered, like, my, my sister will buy it.
Because, like, I've come to realize ordering delivery is such a scam. If I can, like, take the bus somewhere, I'll just take the bus. But usually whenever I do an errand, I will get food to take home. Because I like little treats. Okay, one minute. One minute. Chick-fil-A is so good. I haven't had it. Wait. I haven't had Chick-fil-A since I moved out. And, there, like, the Chick-fil-A in my area now is closer than where it was at my parents' house. He doesn't know how to work a phone? b, -b boomer You should get Chick-fil-A, but... I like gay people. <laughs> 30 seconds to join. <laughs> but getting it delivered would be so stupid. It's Chick-fil-A is so expensive though. I'm gay and I eat it. Well, Okay. Are you ready, Mac? Whenever you're ready, we'll play. Since it's just you and me. Is riding the bike faster than the bus? Um... It depends. I don't have a bike anymore. I have a, I have a stationary bike, but my old bike is still at my parents' house. And I lost the key to it. So, it's one of those U-locks, and I lost the, the key. And also, it's really rusty because my parents didn't let me keep it in the garage. They made me keep my bike outside. The whole time I had the bike, so, like, the bike is, like, trash. It was cute! And our parents asked my sister, they were like, Peace and sister, do you want the bikes back? And we were like, no! They're probably like trash. I don't think I'd get a bike though because where we live now is very hilly. It's like, it's like this. All the main roads are like this. <laughs> so if you bike anywhere, it's not it. I like the bus. The bus is cool. And like, iMac. <laughs> Also, like, since it's a busier town, I'm so much, like, scared walking on the sidewalks. Like, there's so many accidents all the time. So, like, if I run a bike, I'd be more scared. Okay, last call. You guys have five seconds. If you want to play, type peace in his cool. And it... It probably would be quicker to take the bus to there. Because, like, taking the bus places takes... Wait, let's see. Let's do the math. It takes about twice as long as if you were to drive yourself. Because, like, you're going on the same roads, but they have to make stops. And then on the bike, it'd probably take, like, a little bit longer than taking the bus. But I, I don't feel safe riding a a bike in public unless it's like a dedicated park hi wolves welcome in can we get some yo's hello wait wolves do you want to play i waited just for you <laughs> again dude my hair keeps getting stuck in my glasses and it's pissing me off my bus to take forever um even though i live in a city like people still drive everywhere like not many people take the bus as I thought they would. <laughs> Two streams in a row? Yeah, you must be special. Driving is better in winter than taking the bus? What? Dude, if I get into an accident when I'm in the bus, I'm gonna live. If a car hits the bus, they die. It's GG's. I feel so safe on the bus. But it's cold? Wait. Your buses don't have heater? 
Ours are fully air conditioned and they have heaters. Oh, like waiting for the bus? Okay, we're starting. Screw everybody else. If you want to join, you can join the next round. Okay. Should we do 200cc? We're not little babies, right? Wait, mirror mode. Mirror mode! <laughs> we never do mirror mode. Brian, take items. Hard computers. Four races. I'm in. No, I didn't even pick that one. No. no. I didn't plan to pick that one. I hate this track. Okay, let's go. I meant to do Cheap Cheap Beach, because I love Cheap Cheap Beach, and I always win whenever I play Cheap Cheap Beach. Oh no. <laughs> Twinsies? Yeah, and I was just gonna say, our Mies have the same hair. Guys, I think Mac is a mega fan, and I'm scared of that. They should play the music backwards, too. That'd be pretty sick. Oh, nice try, Bozo. <laughs> I knew that was gonna happen. Oh my god. My streams are not scripted, I swear. No Pauline main? You know, I don't mix it up. I never play as Diddy Kong. Okay, every time I get first racing against you guys, you guys have to, um, subscribe. And then every time I don't get first, you guys still have to subscribe. <laughs> it's a win-win. <laughs> On it. CC is so slow. Wait, Mac, you fell off. How did you get so far behind? Hey guys, pay up. I won. That's one sub. Dude, Mac, what happened? <laughs> oh my god. Wait, Wolves, do you want to play? I need a challenge. Like, seriously, Mac is not good. <laughs> Yes? Okay. I wasn't sure if you were doing homework or something. So I will send you the room code. It is in friends search by room code. Not the Max Lander. Mac likes it. Wait, I love the airport. I'm very good. No, you're decent. I'll be honest, I'm decent. No, estoy fantástico. <laughs> okay, the mirror mode might actually trip me up on this drag. Oh, I hit the wheel. Damn it, I should have waited. Easy. Beautiful. 
We got a 3D weekend? Really? Yo! Okay, watch this. <laughs> I almost had it. You're off because of Hangover Monday? What? normal for teachers to have the three months off in a year but then the normal like nine to five they can barely get a week of vacation off like how is that no! <laughs> how is that a thing okay watch this blue shell dodge <laughs> Mac is locked in. I'm throwing on purpose just to like make Mac feel a bit better. My acceleration is better. I could have gotten you. <laughs> I got cooked. Okay, how about <laughs> if you guys win, that's one sub for me. If I win, that's one sub to me. So now we're even. Not Blue Lake. This is more- I'm gonna actually try right now because Wibbs is playing. We're even. And I would like to say, I'm joking about the sub stake. We're just saying that to like real people in. Oh wait, it's mirror mode. Wait, I, it's not mirror mode, it's normal, it's normal. <laughs> I've never fallen off like that. Guys, <laughs> I need to win this race. This is my new VTuber model. It's an allusion to the darkroom analogy we saw earlier in the Pokemon game. Yeah, I don't know why I did that. This is like the worst track for me to ever get. I, I hate this one. Trying to fix the camera. Oh wait, it's back. Yo. Okay, my goal right now is just to get third. I want third. <laughs> okay, chat is. Oh wait, I should keep a. I'll keep a score. I'll keep a score. Let's see. 
chat. One. He's in zero. So we were tied earlier. Now chat is up one. There we go. Okay, I'm also going to verify that the audio is still synced. Oh, it's not synced. Good thing I caught it. You scrubs are gonna lose. This is my track. It's mirrored. Oh, shit. <laughs> um. You are so mean. You knew somebody was going to fall for that. I cannot believe you. Oh no, everything is going bad. Speedrun. Too far ahead. I still got a chance. Wait, he's right there. No! <laughs> don't you dare. Please don't. Don't do this to me. If I hadn't messed up that turn, I could have gotten whoops. Or I, I shot the red shell too early. It's fine. I'll get I'll get you guys the next one. I panicked because I saw wolves had the boom box. So I threw it too soon. Okay. Does anybody want to join? If you want to play, type peace in is cool in chat. If you want to play, we'll wait till... We'll wait two minutes. So at 3 p.m. we'll start. That was intense. I'll admit, I wasn't playing my hardest. I'm like warming up. I also, I want to change it from mirror mode. 150, 150 is still too slow. And I think we're all good gamers, and I think we all can handle 200cc. Oh, wait, also, also. I will do a guaranteed sub-only stream every Friday. I'm going to commit to that. So, it'll either be random games, 
playing with viewers every Friday midday or afternoon. What are my Valentine's Day plans? Obviously, I have a date with Jen. Obviously. Talking about Valentine's, make sure you fill out the quiz. I'm going to be going over the results probably Monday or Tuesday. So fill it out now. Do it. It's free. I gotta go on my annual date with Chad. Other than that, nothing really. Or nothing at all. <laughs> Why do you say nothing really? I don't have a date. How many people filled it out? Nine. I want to get 15. Realistically, we'll probably get 10. Mario Kart colored? What cup even is that? Like blue? Azul? Decay color is Mario Kart. Okay, it's been two minutes. Max Crown? Shut up. You know what? 200 CC. Bikes only. Screw you guys. Bikes only. To make it even, I will do carts only next round. Why are you choosing the same track? Guys, you cannot choose the same track again. Do not choose the same tracks again. It's like unwritten rule to not choose the same tracks again. I said if you guys behave, we'll do Mario Kart. It doesn't seem like you guys are behaving. Okay, 200cc bikes only. Wait, it's so fast. Oh my god. I should have chose a heavier character. Oh, Kaleem! I love to just CC so much. Oh my god. Very nice. Almost got me. Wait, I didn't mean to throw. Why did I get a bob bomb in? Wait. Oh no. Come on. Yes. How about you take this L? Wait, how about you take this L? Take it. Yes. Plus one piece in. Okay, instead of subtracting, I'll just do total points that we each, each round we win. Easy. Okay, do not choose the same track again. That's lame. wearing this right now <laughs> i forget because my camera's flipped sometimes why are you choosing this track you said it too late i figured yay dk jungle i'm so good at this one 
Should I join another Mario Kart tournament? <laughs> Should I try to become a pro Mario Karter? I bet if I like legitimately practice strats, I could be good. I'm just too stubborn to change. Oh! What the frick? In serio? He already blinked. I keep in a no me gusta Mario Kart. <laughs> I want to become like super fluent in Spanish. That way I can dip my toes into the, the Spanish streamers. I want to be like e bike. Start going to the rat. Me to do that. Oh, I said I was gonna try to go to the right. Pause? Okay, you guys get another win, whatever. Whatever. No me importa. I fell off the course and still got second. No me importa. I don't care. You know what? Screw everyone. Rainbow Road. I'll make a bet. If I don't fall off a single time on this track, you guys owe me a high five. And then if I do fall off on this track, you guys owe me a high five. Not on this one, only the Rainbow Road one. Loki haven't played in two months, really? Well, you're doing pretty good though. My skill usually goes down when I don't play. <laughs> Even for like two weeks. Watch this. <laughs> the watch this bit will never get old. Ooh, he did an insane red shell block with the boomerang. That was kind of sick. days when wolves would main Lemmy, and I hated Lemmy for the longest time because of that. Huh, you never see me. <gasps> Yo! So lucky? Yeah, it can't afford to throw now. <laughs> I 
Get away from me. If the green shell didn't hit me at that certain angle, I would have blocked it. That was pretty close. Dang. Tartar sauce. What the frick? I'm gonna be eating and playing. I'm getting hungry too. Yes! Okay, you know the rules? If I don't fall off, you guys have to give me a high five. And then, if I do fall off, I have to give you a high five. I can bring Lemmy back. <laughs> I mean, that would be nice, because then I know it's you. Oh, granted, I'm not playing my main character either, because I usually go with... I, I guess I don't really truly have a main anymore. Because I... No! <laughs> oh, no. Dang it. I was too busy yapping. Fine. There you go. High five. The biggest throw in Mario Kart history. Hashtag real, hashtag not clickbait. I'll take a fourth. guys beat me again okay just asking for funsies what what track do you think you guys are the worst at hmm sunshine airport really I think the only part, hard part of that track is like the upper section. The last one we played. <laughs> For the life of me, I get confused. I mean, airports are really easy to get lost in. Okay, I'm gonna see if the audio is still synced. Okay, it still is, so I don't know why it keeps crashing. I'm using the bathroom? Okay. I think this will be my last pre, because I want to go eat a snack. So if you want to play for the final race, type peace and is cool. There's another one, but I'll have to see the list. I think my worst track is Boo Lake. The corners are way too tight. It's also really scary. <laughs> Um, what else? I'm not good at Hyrule Circuit. Because the one, like, roundabout section is horrible. It makes no sense. I used to hate Bowser City, but now I'm good at it.
Why are we all standing so close together? I'm back. Okay, we'll wait one more minute if anybody else wants to play. Since this is a sub-only stream, what type of streams do you guys want to see? Because I said previously I want to do like a themed week once a month. Obviously for February's Valentine's and then following through on games. I'm not going to tell you guys, but you can look. But for like a week of streams, what would you guys think would be fun or interesting to watch? Because I have this whole year planned out of like what to do, not everything meticulously planned. Like I have an outline of what I want to do this year for every month. But I kind of need something for April because I for April I put my birthday, but my birthday is only one day. We could make it a week-long celebration, but what would we even do? April showers? I don't want to do a, a shower stream. I would die. I swear, anytime I've tried to take a shower in this new place, I've almost slipped. I should sue if I die. <clears throat> Turned on stream when I saw that I'd scream. <laughs> no, it, it, if any time I did something like that, it'd be parody. I I sold this before, but I legit. When I first started streaming, I was gonna do a parody hot tub stream, in like my backyard with a little kiddie pool. But I would still be wearing a swimsuit. And good thing I didn't do that. You need a shower mat and a chair? Yeah. But my grandpa had one of those shower chairs. And it makes me feel like really sad thinking about that. Because I'm like, I'm still relatively able-bodied, but I'm not with certain things. And like, I don't need a walking aid yet. Like, I don't need a cane, but I probably will need one within the next five years. And that's really sad. You get to sit in the shower that's fire? <laughs> but the only shower that would fit in would be my sister's shower and she would be annoyed of the chair. She'd be like, just take a bath, bozo. And I'd be like, true. Okay, let's play. Final pre of the day, I promised. Parts only. L carts. Now, in order for me to catch up to you guys, I have to win every single race. <laughs> I haven't played a cart in like a year. And the last time I played a cart was because chat told me to play a cart. <coughs> and then I played it for like 20 minutes. And then I got mad or upset. Okay, what? Give me an easy one Animal Crossing. Standard cart. No, why'd you do Rainbow Road? Oh no. Mods change the title to playing a cart for the first time in a year. Hashtag real, hashtag not clickbait. I'm gonna cry. Drifts are so wide. Yeah! 
Ay, Dios mío, no puedo montar mi carro. Stop, what are you going to do the other side? Be kind to me. Oh, wait, that was kind of clean. Okay, I think if I'm gonna have to do a car build, I can't have auto accelerate on because I think that's cooking me. Okay, that was kind of cool. like not drifting at all oh wait I drifted <laughs> I can't do this. I can't. Look. I can't. <laughs> I can't do this. <laughs> okay, I have to run an ad. You chose it? Yeah, but then uh, I wanted to be fair. Because I did carts, or I did bikes only. Wait, I can't ch I wanted to try and change my card. <clears throat> she. I'm not going to drift it off. <laughs> I wanted to see- Uh-oh. I wanted to see if I could turn off- Um, uh, what you call it? Turn on auto drifting. I feel like that could be sick. There. Oh wait, I think auto drifting is only for tilt controls? Question mark? Okay, face cam will be out back in a bit. Uh, I'm gaming. <laughs> Mom, I'm in 10th place! I can't leave the online match. Oh my god. I'm 
the bag. Yeah. <laughs> if I'm gonna fail, I'm gonna fail in style. <clears throat> yeah, this track ain't too hard. This one's an easy one. Thank you. I forgot I picked this card. Wait, this- this drifting is like a bit nicer. The turns aren't as wide, surprisingly. Oh, I'm on my side wheels. That looks so weird. Wait, third? Second? Clutch? Wait, maybe this is my build. Okay. <laughs> maybe not. Ma Dude, just like give me a chance. Okay, I'll take a seven. I think I'm finally understanding a little bit of how the cards work. Like, you can't make super tight lines. You go wide and then tighter in. You can't do a super tight. Seeing Tanuki Mario haunts me. <laughs> <laughs> Look at Mac being nice. Classic. What are the odds? <clears throat> Final race. Let's see if I can beat you guys at least one more time. I would like to say I didn't include like three points on the board, so I technically I think I've beat you guys like twice or three times today. Both of which were like mad. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be torture. The acceleration on this car is so bad. Oh. <laughs> 
Come on. I'm convinced everyone who places like six or worse just doesn't have the, a build that's built for them. Cause you know what, if <clears throat> if I had my normal build, I'd be crushing. Oh, whenever I hold break, it ruins my acceleration. So my playstyle is not good for this build. <clears throat> cool shell. Get them, boys. I just can't get lost. I can't get lost. <coughs> Pause. <gasps> I almost fell off. <clears throat> Damn, none of y'all got first. That was difficult, yeah. I should, you know what I should, I should just make H-A-R-D a block word. Should I? Because I will always verbally read it out as difficult because I don't want to say it. Dude, I got seventh. I'll admit it, you guys are better than me at Mario Kart. You guys won. Whatever. Whatever! It was 2v1. The odds were not in my favor. PSI2L. This brow is messed up. Okay, so, guys, it is Friday. True. Real and true. No, there's a lot of- You have a lot of free speech in my chat. Go ahead, type a word, see if it gets blocked. <laughs> Go ahead, try. Still Mori. That is really loud. Yeah, that should be a better level for y'all. I know this comp is like really loud. Okay. So that was our first weekly sub only stream. Every Friday, I'm going to try and do a sub only for, <clears throat> you know, the real fans. I can say hell, yeah. Like, hell yeah, brother. Yeah, yeah. Hell is fine. I love hell. Okay, so... Oh, it kicked my desk again. We can wrap up stream by doing calligraphy. You know the drill. If you use your channel points, I will write your name. Calligraphy time. So, if you use your channel boards or subscribe, I'll write your name. While I'm getting the camera set up, make sure you fill out this year's Valentine's Day quiz. If you haven't already, it takes like five minutes. Some of your answers will be used on stream next week. Thank you for redeeming, Kim.
Okay, I'll be honest, that Pokemon game was really bad. Very bad. Good thing I didn't buy it. Let's see, we have three people redeem. Mario Kart. Okay, plan is simple. Tomorrow, secret stream with candy hearts. And then making valentines for chat. Sunday, I will not be able to stream. I'm going to go touch grass and go see a play and do nerd shit. Monday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, all valentines day streams. Wednesdays will be the valentine date stream. That'll probably be at the normal... Ooh, should I do it later in the day? But then people who actually have dates won't watch this stream. <laughs> I don't know, just, like, follow the channel, have notifs on, that way you don't miss them. They're gonna be bangers, I promise. This is like a golden rod color. But seriously, thank you to anybody who watches, like, and enjoys most of what I do. Because this year, I'm definitely going to be experimenting more with the just chatting themed ones. If you guys... Okay, type one if you know who Germa985 is. Okay, Germa985 is a... I'm going to try and channel, like, Germa-esque vibes. I was aware of him for the longest time, but I didn't start, like, watching his content until recently, like, in the past year. You don't know who Druma is? Guys. This is, like, the problem with building my audience on TikTok. None of you guys know who streamers are. Look up. The, the name is familiar. Yeah, you've probably seen little tidbits of him. He was just in a Meat Canyon video. Okay, look up Germa985 on YouTube. Um, what's a good Germa video? Okay, because, like, Germa... What's a good... Like, it's kind of hard to get into his content, because, like, it's kind of, like, niche. Let's see. He does gaming, but he does a lot of, like, planned streams that are, like, skits. Skits. <laughs> I almost said... It almost sounded like I said something bad. They sound like a germ. Hey. I'm trying to find, like... Or look up Germa Baseball. His second channel is more active than the main channel on YouTube. He doesn't stream often, but his editors get stuff out all the time. Okay, what's next? Kim. Last video was six years ago? <laughs> yeah, I think if you go to the main channel and then you, like, the homepage of his main channel, you can see his other channels. Second, Germa uploads more often. Because the second Germa channel is, I think, like, stream highlights. I'll do... Lavender. <laughs> I almost dyed my hair that color. Would have been cute. But isn't it kind of hard to get this color and maintain it? I think Platinum Blonde? Platinum Blonde is a really pretty color. Want to know who my GF is? You keep on saying that and then you never tell me. 
How would I know them? I don't live in New York. She, you're not going to tell me. I don't, I don't, I think you're being parasocial by like wanting to tell me. Dude, my hair looks so bad today. Ew. They're chatter? No way. That can't be real. Is it Kim? It can't be. It can't be. That's so cringe. You don't have a GF stop the bit? That would be funny, but then also like really sad to pretend that you have a GF in a Twitch chat just to like get attention. I, I think that would be a bannable offense, don't you think? Oh my god, Jerma's actually live right now. What is he doing? Kim knows my GF? How does that happen? Who is it? Who is it? It can't be Kim. It can't be. It can't be. Oh, Jerma's playing a game. Your mom? Shit. Shit. I love dating your mom. Shit. I thought my mom didn't like gay people. Just kidding. She doesn't mind them. <laughs> she doesn't mind them. My mom does want grandkids at some point, but I don't think it's happening. <laughs> Mac, just, just Mac. Face cam turns on when Mac tells me what is going on. Yeah, I didn't change this. Doesn't mind? Yeah, it, it's kind of like... She doesn't mind if, like... If, like, um... Other people are gay, but, like... I don't think she'd like that I'm bi. Because she really wants grandkids. Because she loves babies. But I hate kids. You're flaming me? <laughs> you're... You're withholding it from everybody, not just me. Okay, guys. I'm not joking. No face cam. Mac is ruining it for everyone. We don't like peer pressure. You know what? I think peer pressure is kind of pog. I think it's cool. Peer pressure is only fine as long as it's for something that's like not harmful. You know what I mean? Okay, guys. Thank you for watching. Any chatters, lurkers, thank you for hanging out for this exclusive weekly sub-only stream. I'm going to try and do these every single Friday. So... Stay subscribed. I want everybody to be a tier one. I want to get... Wait, how do I hide my camera? Wait, how do I hide my camera? I want to get... You can't see me. I want to get 20 tier ones by the end of the year. I think we can do it. I already have 17, which is crazy. <laughs> anyway... I'll see you guys tomorrow for a Valentine's Day stream. And then streams Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday for Valentine's. And then going back to Eastward, beating the DLC. And then Paranormal Sight. And then Spirit Favor. Follow through February is happening. And don't you worry, I have something amazing planned for March. No narcs. It is going to be very good. It's going to be something you have never seen on the Peace In channel. In March. And no, it is not Hot Tub or ASMR. I'm sorry. You know, I don't love the fans that much. <laughs> Bye, Mac. Bye, Wolves. I'll see you guys later. Thank you, seriously, for playing. I had fun. Even if you guys um, beat me. It's fine. I don't care. Like, not, not entirely. <laughs> Okay, so, also, I tried a different OBS setting, so I'm unsure, because I'm trying to exclude the background music from VODs, because it kind of ruins the YouTube edits whenever the music is choppy. So, in the VOD, you guys won't see it unless you watch on YouTube in a few weeks. Um, the background music you're hearing now should not be playing. But I also noticed, I mean, you guys probably saw the camera kept freezing today. 
So that's kind of an L. I'm unsure if it's related to the new settings I added today or if it's just like just shitting itself today. It could be because Mario at 60 FPS is like not chill. It, it does make my bit rate skyrocket. So I don't know. I'll keep trying this muting music VOD strat for now to see if it works or not. I should probably just split the audio whenever I do streams that I know I'm going to edit. I feel like, yeah, I, I, I'll i do that then. Because it doesn't really make sense for... What'd you call it? For like a gaming stream? Because I only use background music at the very end. I don't know. I'll keep toying with it. I'll keep playing. Okay, thank you guys for watching. Any chatter suckers, thank you for playing. That Pokemon game was really bad. <laughs> I'm going to go talk to my GF Mac. You guys... I swear, you guys cannot be real. The- the bit? Is the- okay, be honest. Be honest, is the bit real? I can't. I can't. It would be really cute. But it- I told you guys not to smash. I told you guys not to smash each other. That's an explicit rule in my chat. No fuck a fan, no smash each other fan. <laughs> no smash each other. It cannot be real. This is such a stupid bit. <laughs> Exclamation rules. Should I add that to my chat rules? <laughs> New chat rule. No smashing. <laughs> It cannot be real. It cannot be real. It can't be real. Okay, let me put it this way. If I can't fuck a fan, you guys should not be able to smash each other. It's not fair. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I would never. Guys, what if I told you I'm like actually married? I'm not. You, you would be able to, like, look up if somebody was, like, married, though. Sorry, Mac, I gotta block you? Yeah, stop it. Guys, stop. Okay, be honest. Guys, please, tell me. Is it real? It- <laughs> I don't know. I don't know, I can't tell. I hate this. I think Mac is gone. Okay, enough stalling. You guys are stalling. I hate this bit. You guys, enjoy the rest of your day. Go for a little walk. Oh wait, go watch Germa. Germa is live right now. I love Germa. That's the kind of vibe I want. Okay, bye guys. <laughs>